Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the American Motors Guy. Okay, in this video is a continuation of what happened with AMX Fire Horse. They ran a video for David Todd Birch when they went to San Diego and pulled a car out of a garage. Now, that Rambler has tri traveled uh, for almost from one uh, side of the country almost to the other, um, and it ended up making its official stop here in East Tennessee. Now, uh, what we know about the car, um, it's a 1963 AMC Ambassador 990. The original owner was William F. I'll see if I can get this right. Golzol. I don't know if I'm saying it correct. It's G-U-E-L-T-Z-O-W-E. Guilt Soul, I guess is how you would say it. And he was at 711 Bush Street in San Diego, California. And it was sold, the car was sold new by Lee White Rambler. And that was 9236 East Firestone, Downey, California. And the delivery date we have on the paperwork is 1230 of 1962. Now the second owners, Olivia, Oliver H. and Vivian V. Walker at 4430 58th Street, San Diego, San Diego California. Uh, the date of purchase that they bought it was in June of 1965. The mileage at the time of purchase was 21,829 miles. And the last registration on this car was in California and it was uh, registered in 1973. However, the tags on the car says 72. So somewhere along the line, they bought the tags to re-up the tags and something happened. Um, from this point, the information is a little vague. Uh, but the papers in the car included uh, Vivian's death certificate. Uh, she died in 2008 at the age of 92. She was in hospice care and succumbed to Parkinson's disease and pneumonia. And uh, she even held a bachelor's degree. That's crazy. Uh, but her status was a uh, homemaker uh, since 1947 when she was age 32. Um... And I guess it was about uh, December when uh, the car was put up for sale and David Todd Birch is the one who had bought it. And it was Tom Fletcher and uh, a few of the other guys from Southern Cal, AMX Fire Horse. Uh, check them out on their YouTube channel and you can see the video and I have it on my channel so that you can watch it as well. It's an eight minute video. It kind of tells you a little bit about uh, the car and then how we got it. And now the mileage on the car is 45,760.2 miles. So we have, we have a lot of information on the vehicle and we have a lot of history on the vehicle. And it's in excellent condition and you'll see so here in just a few minutes. So this video continues on with that one. So if you watch that one first, you're golden. Now watch and see what happens.
everyone get up. There's a few cobwebs up underneath here, but it is in great shape. So, this car has traveled from California to Eastern Tennessee. Um, good friend of mine, William Clark, is the one who bought this car. And he bought it off of uh, David Todd Birch. And uh, Bill was in the process of selling two other vehicles so he could get this one in the garage. He had a uh, Eagle sedan, uh, motor and everything goes with it and deal. And it was bought by uh, Ben Scoville. Oh, that one sticks a little bit. And uh, Ben got that car. And he had a Gremlin with a 2.5 Iron Duke. And they were in the process of loading that car. And for some reason, I don't know why, Bill kind of put his right cheek on the seat and had his leg hanging out his left leg hanging out of the car and they were putting it up on the trailer and something broke loose or something happened and the car rolled back and it ended up pinning uh william clark's leg in between the gremlin door and the garage and Hey, there's the Hornet. We'll get to get back on that one, y'all. But, uh... So, what ended up happening was Bill had got his leg trapped uh, between the Gremlin door and the garage door. And... It had broke his leg. It did some damage right at the kneecap. Um, he he did it. He did some damage. So uh, Bill was transported to the hospital, and yeah, you got a broke leg there, bro. And no, it's not going to be a cast. It's going to be surgery. So they had to go in there and do repair work to fix his leg so it would heal correctly. And he was in the hospital for a few days. And all of a sudden, I get a phone call and says, Hey, man, I'm headed to the rehab center. I'm like, okay. And I did not know at the time that he was really not following the doctor's instructions. The doctor basically wanted him to stay at the hospital a couple of more days. And... uh Bill was uh, gun ho and I'm getting home and I've got stuff to do and just being Bill. Um, just, I've got things to do, man. Um, and uh, I went to go see Bill, gave him a model and talked about this and that. And I told him, so, no, you get on, you get, you get on Facebook and you tell everybody what you did. I'm not going to get on here and do one with you because I was like, you knucklehead. And, uh, something happened and Bill succumbed to his injuries, um, while he was in the rehab center, he had just got done or was going to, uh, therapy, um, overworked himself or did something and, uh, Bill no longer with us. So, uh, another member of our club, uh, bought the Rambler, um, Larry Dominici is the one who bought it, so, uh, it's, it's, 
it's bittersweet because I'm glad the car is still here. It gives me a reminder of Bill, but not as much as his uh, plum javelin, which uh, the, his wife decided to keep and uh, wanted to be able to still show it. So um, kudos to her for that. Um, so hopefully we may see it at the uh, inaugural show. If they could bring it out, that would be great. But uh, yeah, I'm going to miss my friend. Um, I really am. All right, everyone. This is just a little continuation of the video from uh, Southern Cal. Uh, they're the ones who went and got this car and uh, got it off to uh, David Todd Birch. So this car has been around. It's it's traveled. It's traveled uh, uh, probably close to 2,000 miles, and I think it only put on uh, four t <laughs> four tenths four tenths of a mile on it since uh, since it was discovered. So I think that's what it is. Four tenths. All right. Okay, everyone. Keep in touch. Be watching for more videos. Be watching for more stuff. I've got more stuff coming. We have the uh, Hudson Show. We have uh, the uh, inaugural uh, William Clark Show, Bill Clark Show. Um, I'm hoping to get some videos and photographs from uh, the other two shows that was happening. Uh, Mid-Atlantic has got their show going on. And um, Ohio Classics. American Motors Classics has their show going on for September 21st. So keep those three things in mind. Don't forget Las Vegas is uh, November 8th and 9th, I think it was. And uh, keep that one in mind. That'll be at the Railroad Pass Hotel. All right. So let's keep all of those shows in mind and watch the video for 2025 where we break down all of the shows, everything that's happening for 2025. We go through each club across the nation and then across the world. All right, everyone. See you soon. He has a teenage daughter, Bug. I, I don't know if he has got any money. Okay. It runs. That one does. Anything else work? <laughs> that one, you can hear it. That one goes okay. And how about that one? It works really well. You got one doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. Probably just stuck. Yeah. That's a damn nice car, man. Okay, everyone. Uh, we will be doing more updates on this car as we get things completed and get it roadworthy and maybe even get it videoed. It's first travel on the highway when we get everything done. Um, so all of you that's out there, you want to keep up with certain things. And I've seen a lot of these 62, 63s and 64 Ramblers have been popping up like mad for sale. So, hey guys. They're awesome cars. Grab you one. You'll love them. All right. So stay, keep, uh, keep watching. I've got more videos coming. We have the show in Townsend, Tennessee with the Smoky Mountain Hudson Group. So we'll be doing a video up there as well. We'll be doing an AMC video, a Hudson video, just as we did the very first two videos that we put out. <clears throat> now, uh, just keep in mind, we are still working on the 2025 video 
of all the car shows and things are still coming in and people are still sending me information. So all that you who've gotten in touch with me, thank you very much. I will get the information put together and try to get that video completed as soon as possible. All right, everyone, see you soon.